Thank you so much for joining me today on Senior Fitness with Meredith. So today what we're going to work on is seated work with our resistance band. What I'm going to do today is kind of go through each movement nice and slow, just a few repetitions, trying to touch on every body part as best we can do, but really going at a nice slow pace um, so we can all follow and we can learn so we can progress through the videos from there. So all you'll need is your nice sturdy chair, your bottle of water close by, your resistance band, and we'll be ready to get started. So I'll see you back here. So let's get started with our seated resistance band work. So I'm just gonna go over a couple of things first, just to start. So we have our long resistance band. So first and foremost, if you ever see a hole, a tear, anything in that resistance band, it's time to unfortunately get rid of it and get a new one. Because once it's compromised at all, it will start slowly, especially during moves, just start to snap apart. So you don't want that. So if it ever gets a little worn or if it's in a hot, dry environment like it is where I live, um, they go a little bit quicker. So just be aware of that first and foremost. Secondly, when you're holding your bands, I know holding these bands can start to hurt fingers sometimes. We have arthritis, our grip is not as strong as it used to be. There are different ways to hold the band. A lot of times I just hold it. But remember, you can always tie little knots into your band, one on each end and one right in the middle. Once you have those knots, you don't have to grip your band as much. You use those knots to hold on to. So that's one thing you can do. Or also, you can wrap the band. Again, same thing. Now I don't have to grip it so much. I'm not holding on to it. It's a nice loose feeling in those fingers. And then you get the work in the areas that we're working on. So starting from there, doing what feels best for you in your grip, or if you're choosing to hold on to it, those fingers start to hurt, give them a little shake out every once in a while, just so you can do the workout and feel the body parts again that we're trying to work better. All right, so starting with those things, now we'll get started with the real work. So we have our resistance band. What I want you to do is bring it behind you on your back and then bringing it up behind your upper back, under your underarms, and then you're nice and tall in your chair. Abdominals always pulled in tight, length stays in the spine, nice and lifted, relax your shoulders. First thing we're gonna do is work on front of the body chest. So nice and lifted, again, those knots can be at the end, your fingers are holding behind those, or you can wrap your band, nice and tall, press straight out with an exhale, gently release it back in. Exhale, extend arms out, gently release back in. Press extend from your chest, gently release. Exhale, inhale. Nice and lifted, really focus on what you're working so you're getting that best work in that body part. Press from your chest, release from your chest. Three more, two, we're gonna hold our last one out. We're gonna open our arms nice and wide and exhale as we close them in front. So now we're doing our chest fly, squeeze closed. Inhale, exhale. Slow controlled movements always in both directions. Band sometimes wants to control your movement, snapping your arms back to starting point. We're working against that against that resistance. Three more. Two. Last one, gently release your hands into your side, gently release the band to the front. Always a good time, wiggle those fingers out a little bit. Find our good posture and form again. Now we're gonna focus on our upper back. So arms are out nice and long. Length is in our arms. We're gonna bend at our elbows, bring the band in towards the body, pulling from your upper back, gently releasing it out. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, pull upper back, gently release. Let's do three more. Three, release. Two, one more, 
gently release the band, little shake out the upper back. The shoulders start to work a little bit to relax them down. We're gonna work our rotator cuffs next. Nice and tall, holding the band in front of us. We glue our elbows into the side of our body. Those elbows stay glued in. We press our hands out. We gently release it. Press hands out, gently release. Exhale, inhale. It's a small movement, again, slow and controlled in both directions. Exhale, inhale. Let's do three more. Three, two, last one, little release, little shake out of those arms. We're gonna take our band, I want you to place it across your lap. You're gonna bring it around so the ends come up towards the top and then you hold on to those ends. Nice and lifted in your chair, feet are close together. We're gonna focus on strengthening of the hips, outer thighs right now. Dominals tight, pressing from your outer thighs, not your knee joints. You open that band and gently release it. Exhale, open, gently release. Again, leading from the hips, outer thighs, gluteals. Knees just follow along with the movement, never initiating from a joint. Exhale, inhale, three more, three, two, Last one, keep the band right where it is, but now separate your feet slightly. We're gonna march into our legs, keeping the pull on our outer thighs, our hips and our gluteals, but we're leading from our quadriceps now. So our right foot comes up, our left foot comes up. Exhaling and inhaling. Lead from the top of the thigh, that's the quadricep muscle. So we're strengthening that. We're strengthening and getting range of motion in our hip flexors, abdominals as well. We'll do three more. Three, two, one more each side. And then we'll keep the feet right where they are. Lift those heels up, release. Heels up, release. So strengthening lower part of the leg, those calf muscles into our ankle joints while we still keep that pull on the outer thighs, hips, gluteals. Three more, two, last one. Bring your feet a little bit closer together, nice and lifted. We're gonna alternate opening to the side. Bigger range of motion now, leading from the hip, gluteal, outer thigh. We open that right foot out far. We gently resist in from that inner thigh center. Left side, open nice and wide gently resist back center press out gently center exhale inhale we're going to do two more on each side so two two one more each side right and left Come back center, feet close together so you can take that band off. Wiggle those fingers a little bit. Then we're gonna take the band, you're gonna place it onto the ground, you're gonna step onto it. Trying to get it as even as possible and centered underneath the feet. Remember, you want it under the ball of the foot so it doesn't move around. If you put it under the arch, you don't have a shoe that goes flat to the ground. It's gonna wiggle around under there, you don't want that. So pressure down onto it, nice and tall. Elbows close into the side of the body. Bicep curls, we're gonna alternate. So you don't have to get your hand all the way to your shoulder. Right side, elbow close, curling towards your shoulder. Gently release it out. Other side, curl up towards your shoulder. Gently release it. Focus on the front of your arm, that's your bicep. That's what you're leading from. Lifting resistance. Releasing resistance. Exhale, inhale. We're really focusing on what you're working. Makes that muscle work even more. A 
Let's do three more on each side. Three, two, two, one more. Right, release, left, release. Nice and tall, relax your shoulders down. We're going to do upright rows next, putting the focus into the top of our shoulder. So nice and tall, leading from your shoulder, those elbows lift high, gently release it. Exhale, lead from your shoulder, gently release. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, shoulder leads. Gently release, three more. Three, two, last one, releasing that. You're gonna step off of it for a second, and then you're gonna put your heels down, feet nice and close together. You're gonna take your band under the arch of the foot now, holding on to the ends, sit up nice and tall, then bring it to the inner part of the legs. You're nice and lifted. The heels are glued down on the floor. They're not moving, holding that band, staying nice and tall. Outer part of the feet, we wanna press to open and release. Press to open, release. Strengthening those ankle joints. Press out, release. Exhale, inhale. Three more, two, last one. Release the band to the outside, then gently release it from under the foot. Feet go down, we're up nice and tall. Couple more things with our band. Take a break whenever you need it. Remember that water's close by. Always stop to take breaks when needed. Nice and tall in our chair. We're gonna glue our right hand to our right hip. We're gonna bend our left elbow. We haven't worked the back of our arms yet, our triceps, so that's what we're focusing on. We have a bend in our elbow. What we wanna do with that left arm is lengthen it, it, lengthen it out long. So we lengthen out nice and long, we gently release it. Lengthen through the tricep, back of your arm, gently release. Relax your shoulder down. Don't make the shoulder do all of the work. Extend your tricep. Release, exhale, inhale. Let's do three more. Three, two, last one. Little shake out of that side. We get to do the same thing on the other side. So glue your left hand to your hip. Get that good posture in your chair, nice and lifted, abdominals tight. Bending at the right elbow. We want to extend that arm long. Extend long through your tricep. Release it gently. Extend it long. Gently release it. Exhale. Inhale. Lengthen out. Release. Let's do three more. Three. Extend that tricep. Two. Last one, gently release and shake it out. You're gonna take your band, all you're gonna do is bring it in half and then hold on to it. Walk your feet a little bit out, lean back in your chair. Abdominals are tight, band is in front of you. Focus right in the center of your belly. Your abdominal wall is where I want you leading from. You're not pulling from your leg muscles, your hip flexors, you're not throwing your chest forward. Arms are out, band stays nice and taut. So the upper body is still working just by holding that band, but we focus on our abdominals to lead us to sit up nice and tall. And then we gently release back in our chair. Exhale, abdominals pull us up. Gently release back. Exhale, gently release. Gently release back. Let's do three more. Three, release back. Two, one more. We're gonna sit up tall and stay nice and tall with our arms in front of us. Walk our feet a little bit closer in, twisting side to side. Our gaze is right in the center of our band. Our shoulders are relaxed. We twist over to our right. 
we pull our body back center, we twist to our left, come back to center. Exhale, inhale. Two more each side, two, two, one more each side, right, center, left, back to center, bring the band close to the body, relax those shoulders down. Length stays in your spine, abdominals are pulled in tight, all of the focus goes into your lower back. Leading from your lower back, that's part of your core. So let your chest go forward, inhale. Exhale, pulling from your lower back, sit up nice and tall. Inhale your chest forward, exhale, nice and tall. Inhale, exhale tall. Inhale, chest forward, nice and tall. One more, inhale. Exhale, nice and tall, release that band, shake the arms out, make sure you get a nice good stretch in. We're all done with our resistance band work in our chair today. I hope breaking down the movements, we went through each body part through one set. If that felt good, do a second set, and whenever you're ready, you build up to the next video. Thank you so much for joining me today. Can't wait to see you next time.